Hello. This week, we continue to answer the question from Edilson in Brazil about the difference between though and however. Hi, this is Edilson from Brazil. I love the way you approach explanations. I have a question. Could you please explain? What is the difference between the use of the words though and however? Last week, we said though and however are words that show a relationship between ideas. They express a difference in two or more things. We explained some differences in how and when we use the two words. Their use in a clause is another difference between though and however. This is one of the biggest problems English learners have using words like though and however. So, it is important to talk about. First, let's review some terms and their meanings. A clause is a grammar unit organized around a verb phrase. A clause is made of two parts, a subject and a verb. For example, we laughed is a clause. We is the subject and laughed is the verb. In the morning is not a clause because it does not have a verb. There are two main kinds of clauses. Independent clauses are not dependent on any other clause. They are sentences on their own. We laughed is an independent clause. A dependent clause depends on an independent clause. It cannot be a sentence on its own. Before I went, for example, is a dependent clause. While it has a subject and a verb, it requires additional information to be a full sentence or thought. Now, let's return to though and however. We only use however to show a relationship between independent clauses. This means it must be used with two full thoughts. For example, Climate change affects every part of the world. However, it affects some countries more than others. The school can receive $2 million for improving attendance. However, the staff may not be able to keep records. In writing, we must always use a period or a semicolon between the two clauses. Though can be used with a dependent or independent clause. Using though at the beginning of a clause makes a dependent clause. Though Ava does well in school, Although this clause does have a subject and a verb, it requires additional information to be a full thought. It must be used with an independent clause. For example, Though Ava does well in school, she is not sure if she wants to go to university. As we learned last week, though can also be used at the end of an independent clause. For example, Mohammed makes me angry sometimes. I like him, though. We hope this explanation helps you, Idil Sun. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.